Hey Wanderers, welcome back to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook for up to dates and adventures as I'm living in my 2012 Nissan Rogue. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a real life tour on what I do every day. First things first, I suit up. Let's go. I'm going to check out the back. There's no surgeries, but at least you guys get a little sneak peek. Okay. They haven't turned on any of the light. A little, looking a little sketch sketch. Okay, so let's go where the magic starts. Okay. Ah, I haven't been here in a week and I miss it. Okay, so this is the decontamination room. And because it's a surgery center and it is very small, it's only one sink. So every place is different and you make do for what you have. Um, it's a pretty good setup. I'm the only one that works in the department. So I'm the only one that's certified anyway. Oh my gosh. It's madness back here. This is the clean room. And... I don't know what is going on over here. Okay, so let me get back to you as soon as I figure out what's going on. Okay. Okay, so the first thing first when you get in, you kind of want to make sure you have all your machines tested. So right now, these autoclaves, they get flush every time we get them in the morning. So any water that's in the trap is drained out. Okay. And another thing that we do is we test the washers. So, this is the indicator. And you're supposed to have three of these because there's three levels. But they don't. And I just have to do what I gotta do for that. Okay, so we're gonna go and test the washer. Okay, so. This is one of the sterilizers. They get warmed up every day to start their massive amount of work. A lot of checks and balances. So that's when all the noise starts happening. After we flush the machine, we have to let it warm up because it's really cold. These things get up to 272 degrees Fahrenheit. And so we have to let this uh, jacket warm up. After that, we do three tests every week and then every, daily we do two tests. So it's usually a, a lot of testing of the machine to make sure they work and a lot, a lot of documentation. Okay, that takes about an hour and a half to get all the tests done and the biggest thing I have to do is document, document, document. When the state comes in, they can shut you down if you don't even have an initial where you're supposed to. So um, I'm going to just do some documentation. So another aspect of my job is that we have to maintain the supplies for the department and the OR. So we have to unbox everything that comes in and we can't do that in the OR or the department due to the sterility so everything has to be done in a um, corridor separated from the OR so that's part of my job too
washer runs its first test, we take out. Take it out. It has to be clear. Which it is. So it has to test. Okay, let's get some cleaning done. Okay, so a big part of my job is to make sure that the instruments are clean and sterile and ready for the next case. So when they drop off the instruments from the OR, they put them on this shelf right here. And then I will take them and I'll wash them from my wash sink, then rinse them in my rinse sink, and then I throw them into the mechanical washer. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is my outfit. Pretty, right? Safety first. And we do it for all of the instruments and then we'll stick them in the washer. Okay, so manual cleaning is done. We're going to stick them in the washer. Press start. And now they get mechanically cleaned. Let's derobe it, go on the other side and see what I do when they come out. Okay guys, so this is the set that I just cleaned. That is, the other set is washing. But this is what it will look like when it comes out of the mechanical washer. I made it pretty for you guys. And all of that has to fit in one of these. So this is a hand and foot set. I do that by following one of these content lists. And I know this set by heart, but you're supposed to follow the content list. So that way the surgical techs know the quantity of each instrument. And then we put them in the casket put the indicators inside and then we cook them in the sterilizer okay so I'm going to do that and I will show you the peel pouching and the wrapping that I have to do checking for any leftover bio burden or any rust or any defects like chipped teeth. You do them one by one but when you get better at it you just go so checking the ring. Not all of them. That would be too many. 
Um, they are labeled by engravement from the company. So they have numbers on them that are the catalog numbers. And if you are in a facility that is really high tech, you will have a, a bar scan and it will be etched and you will just scan it and it will let you know if it goes in the set. There's so much advancement in this field. It's kind of crazy, but this is like the old school way of doing things, but it's okay. And again, I'm going by fast because I already know this set already. And I already know that I washed this set already, so I know that they're clean, but you still have to check. Nobody's perfect, not even your girl. They stay on the stringer so that way the instruments are open and that this the steam can penetrate all the inside of the instrument. And we're just gonna put all, everything else inside and that's basically it for the wrapping. Instruments that are not in a casket are actually pill pouched and they are run in these special bags, indicators, this will change color. And those are that not be able to go in the bag are wrapped. So we have to wrap these light handles and I will show you how I do it. Okay, this is two scopes, two light handles, this is the finished product and I will wrap these two on this one. After the instruments are cooked, they get placed into storage and this is what storage setup looks like right now. It's a little bit of a mess because of the COVID-19, but this is what storage is. And that's it. <laughs> this is what gets me to travel all across the United States. And I've been doing it for about three years. I've been in healthcare since 2005. So, just journeys, a lot of different journeys. This whole process takes about three to four hours and everything is recommended by the manufacturer use, um, instruction for use. So that's why we have to follow all these checklists and even the air has to be regulated in this department. So it's more than just washing the instrument. You really have to know your instruction for use. You have to know if how the instruments are being used and you have to know the proper way to sterilize them because that can be detrimental to a human life. It can kill somebody if it's not done properly. Okay, so my load is done from the washer and I'm gonna turn this stuff in there into that stuff over there. <laughs> 